a path walked without feet, a country without habitation, a person without a body. Follow these signs, says Kabir. So Kabir often talks about the idea of Shunya. And in this Doha and in uh, other Dohas also, he talks about this land where Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh don't exist, where water and wind don't exist, where sun and moon don't exist. And in the very famous song Nahi Harwa, he also talks about this land of the beloved, where none of these things exist. So he is pointing to a space which is beyond the senses. Because everything that we perceive, sun, moon, wind, water, everything is experienced through the senses. And he is pointing to an experience which is beyond the senses. And that experience is Shunya. Now, Shunya is not just emptiness. It's an experience which is empty of everything that we know. But it doesn't mean it's empty of everything. It can be very full. It's just empty of all the sensory input that we are used to. All the mental input that we are used to. When you remove all the sensory input, all the mental input, what is there? What does consciousness experience? That is what Kabir is pointing to through Shunya.